The zombie movie is a horror staple, tracing its origins back to White Zombie in 1932. Since then, the trajectory of the genre has been choppy, slipping in and out of vogue, but with each resurgence we have been treated to bigger budgets, brighter ideas and a much wider scope for the horrors that can be released on screen. Indeed, many zombie movies have us reaching for the remote and studying things frame by frame. And why not, when there are as many reasons to pause as they are to hide behind the sofa? from split-second images to impressive details to jaw-dropping effects. So with that being said, I'm Jen from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 more most pull zombie horror movie moments. Number 10. A Real Smiley Crowd in 2004's Shaun of the Dead When director Edgar Wright went to work putting his own spin on the zombie genre, he took a lot of what he already knew with him from his TV show Spaced, including small lives in the big city, quick cuts and a squad of his regular cast. The main stars of Spaced, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, lead Shaun of the Dead and other cameos abound, including an amusing encounter with Jessica Hines' own ragtag group of zombie holocaust survivors. However, another recognition recognizable face from the show's supporting cast makes appearances that only the most eagle-eyed fans with the fastest remotes in the West might manage to spot. A blink and you'll miss it cameo has Michael Smiley, who appears as raver Tyres O'Flaherty on Spaced, surfacing a crowd of flesh-hungry zombies. And the fact that he is dressed in the same upturned yellow cap he wears in the show suggests he is in fact the self-same character. Although this poses some strange and unanswerable questions about whether there are doppelgangers for Sean, Ed and Yvonne living in another suburb, it's a moment to behold all the same. Number 9. The Tongue Splitter in Evil Dead from 2013 Expectations were defied when the Evil Dead property was rejuvenated for a new era, bringing it into the 21st century and setting up a pile of grim miseries for we horror fans to feast our maggot-invested eyes on. And while the 2013 Evil Dead isn't your granddad's zombie flick, it fits comfortably under the umbrella. At the core of the film is a career best performance from Jane Levy as a heroin addict Mia, whose intervention sets her, her brother and her friends up at a remote cabin in the woods. While Mia is a compelling enough character, it is not until she is possessed by a vicious demonic force that Levy really takes things to the next level. This entire list could be made purely from moments in the Evil Dead reboot, given the movie's dedication to pushing the boundaries of taste, but it's the tongue-splitting incident that takes the biscuit. Being locked in the cellar does not stop Mia unleashing horrors, and when she gets her hand on a Stanley knife, she takes it right down the center of her tongue, cutting it in two with a rather sexy moan. Shot in the dark, it's difficult to see until you see too much, but when it's frozen on our screens, can we possibly look away? And trying to figure out how the effects department did this is half the fun. Number 8. Eye Socket Invasion in the Sadness 2021 Things don't get much worse than this Taiwanese horror from Canadian director Rob Jabuz. More a description of how you feel after watching it than the events of the film itself, the sadness's title promises something grim, and boy does it deliver. Pushing the envelope for what zombie movies can be, the sadness amps up its afflicted persons on a 28 days later like rage virus that invades people's brains and turns them into sadistic psychopaths intent only on doing serious harm to themselves and others. While there are some pretty unforgivable images throughout the film, including binfalls of infective zombies, face meetings and ball bustings, literally, the defining Paul's worthy scene comes in the aftermath of an umbrella tip through the eye. After losing her eye, Molly makes it to a medical center, but stuck in her chair awaiting surgery, her attacker finds her and uses her eye hole for something else. And while we shouldn't pause, there's something in all of us that compels us to do it. Just to see and just to confirm our fears. Number 7. Matt's got a real head splitter in Resident Evil Apocalypse 2004. Paul W.S. Anderson's Resident Evil movie franchise has never exactly been good. Mila Jovovich, who also happens to be the director's wife, stars as highly trained operative and amnesiac bioweapon Alice and carried the series to the best of her ability across six thoroughly disappointing films. Resident Evil Apocalypse, one of the two films not directed by Anderson, takes some of the focus away from the series' signature zombie hordes and pits Alice against the menacing nemesis, a mutant brood 
crew adapted almost verbatim from the video game source material, bred for killing and destruction. But all is not as it seems, and it turns out this hell monster is in fact Alice's old pal Matt, who was taken away for experimentation by the evil Umbrella Corporation at the end of the previous picture. During the reveal that Nemesis is Matt, we get to see a short scene of his transformation with tremendously brief images of Matt's face and head being peeled during the process. Needless to say, this still sends us diving for our remotes and smashing the balls button, figuring out the perfect split second moment to get that shot of his head all open and gory and such like. Number 6. Amber Heard trashes the house in 2009 Zombieland. Zombieland is the quintessential US somcom, packed as it is with gags, guns, and a wild eyed Woody Harrelson who heads across America in the wake of a zombie apocalypse. Will Harrelson and co stars Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg, and Abigail Breslin hold down the film at all four corners. There are nevertheless a few notable minor appearances scattered in the small spaces between the action and banter, and unfortunately, we're not here to talk about Bill. Murray's cameo as himself, but another famous face who wasn't all that well known at the time. Amber Heard stars in a small bit part as 406, named by Eisenberg's Columbus after the number on her apartment door. She comes over after being attacked and bitten by a homeless man, cuddles up to our hero on the couch, and, and when the pair awake again, she's changed into a flesh eating monster. The first pause here is to figure out if it really is Heard, and the second pause is to see what's become of her face. But in this scene, the most pause worthy moment of all is watching Columbus spin her head a full 180 with the system cover. Ouch. Number 5 End Credits Dawn of the Dead 2004. In many ways, director Zack Snyder and writer James Gunn brought the zombie genre to 21st century Hollywood with 2004's Dawn of the Dead, putting out a gore fest that feels shiny, snappy, action heavy, and mainstream enough to satisfy most audiences. Unlike many zombie features that come down to a single person, Dawn of the Dead sees a whopping five of its cast through to the end of the film, where they escape on a yacht and sail off into the sunset, decidedly undeadless and ready to start their lives over. The end. And yet somehow, the film keeps going. The aftermath of the movie, shown to us in short, shaky camcorder clips during the end credits, provides snatches of footage telling us what happened to the characters we just spent 100 minutes getting to know and love. Spoiler alert, they die. Ushering in disturbs down with a sickness and a new era of zombie terror, the credits take the survivors to an island where, lo and behold, zombies have taken over. Liberal use of the pause button is necessary to pick these scenes apart, but suffice to say, they do not end well for anybody. Number 4. R Becomes Real in Warm Bodies 2013 Back in the early 2010s, Warm Bodies chose a truly unexpected path to explore its zombie threat, romance. Rocking up in the wake of Twilight, during a time when the prevailing attitude in terms of making it with supernatural monsters was very much anything goes, the film is a story of boy next door zombie R, who seeks nothing less than the lifelong companionship of living, breathing human, Julie, the only woman who has made his heart beat in the past eight years. One thing leads to another, and as he gradually wins her trust and affections through a series of gestures, grunts, and a stick with it attitude, R begins to come back to life. In fairy tale fashion, well, reverse, twisted, zombified fairy tale fashion that is, R receives true love's kiss and is transformed. Each moment of this scene needs to be studied in freeze frame for the fine details to be appreciated. As the colour comes back to his face, his eyes change, and he starts breathing again, emphasised all the more by the sudden bullet that catches him in the shoulder. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and while you're there, drop us a like, share, and subscribe too. Number 3. Totally Losing His Head 2018's Overlord On the eve of D-Day, a squad of paratroopers drop into Nazi-occupied France in order to raise a German radio jamming tower whose destruction could prove essential to the Allied forces' success. However, Overlord is not just any old war flick, oh no. Because once in the field, the American troops discover an underground experimentation lab where the Reich has been developing a resurrecting serum. Enter the zombies. After squad member Chase is taken down by the Nazis, the only thing to do is inject him with the serum, which works, kinda. Chase reanimates, yet all is far from well. The wounded soldier headbutts a wooden beam, cracking it in two, but that's far from where the fun ends. 
as he bends over backwards, snapping his own neck and mutating into an undead monster in real time. Every moment from the head bark through to his screaming, feral red eye transformation is pause worthy, but it's that neck snap and the eventual staving in of his head by his best friends, may we add, that beg most for more of our screen time. A blend of CG and practical work, the effects here are thoroughly foul and well worth the second, third, even fourth look. Number two, The Lieutenant's Last Service in Planet Terror 2007. Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino did the unthinkable with their grindhouse double bill back in the mid-late noughties, putting together two feature films, Planet Terror and Death Proof, and a series of fake trailers in, in homage to the exploitation cinema of yore. Not exactly a money-making endeavor, but a worthy passion project if ever there was one. Planet Terror introduces us to a dog-eat-dog -dog world where a deadly bioweapon leads to an explosion of sores, injuries, and deaths, swiftly translating into an army of angry zombie aggressors. A ragtag team band together to fight their way through the carnage, but are waylaid at every turn by a sinister military element led by the demented Lieutenant Muldoon, played by Bruce Willis. Far from being immune from the chaos, the Lieutenant has been huffing the zombie-making gas for years in order to stave off his own transformation. When it does arrive on screen, because how could it possibly not? Muldoon's transformation is sudden, grisly, grim, and distorted by the damaged film stock effects Rodriguez uses to his B-movie homage some real-world credibility. Many minutes have been spent poring over those frames to take in every hideous detail of the mutated arm and hood, and given the raw horror in every detail, there are many more yet to come. And number one, straight up with a twist, Army of the Dead 2021. Well, we're damned if Zack Snyder don't make a compelling zombie movie, and his return to the genre with a straight-to-Netflix Army of the Dead proved an exciting, if uneven, entry to the canon, with all the shallow, soft focus, headache-inducing action you could hope for. Following a zompocalypse, Las Vegas is a no-go zone, cordoned off to prevent a national-level outbreak, much like Dawn of the Dead. With the city set to be bombed to oblivion in a matter of hours, only a multi-skilled team of zombie hunters, safe crackers, and pilots can pull off a $200 million heist from one of the casino vaults, until they can't. Things go sideways in a big way, and the team are picked off one by one by the undead, and in one of the most visually clear moments of the whole movie, Maria Cruz, the counterpart and love interest for Scott Ward, gets her neck twisted 180 style. The shocking moment comes mid-film when the gang are trapped in the casino vaults. The lift pings open, a swarm of zombies fly out, and Maria is grabbed by her face and neck. In one blood-curdling twist, her head is on backwards. It's a grim moment to return to time and time again, not least for the added of that bit of spine popping out the side of her neck. Ooh, 